Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Yesterday's video about the hydroponics, a lot of people had asked questions about how I was doing it, what I was doing it. Uh, the Watchman News recommended uh, uh, increasing ambient temperature, which, uh, temperature of the water, I'm sorry, not ambient temperature. Temperature of the medium, uh, the liquid, the nutrient. <clears throat> Uh, bringing it up to temperature. He said he had good results from that. Um, I talked to uh, Mr. Green, I believe your name is, on Odyssey. Odyssey is a different platform entirely. A lot of times, for some reason, I cannot respond. So if I see your comments on my Odyssey channel, Mayhem Country Living, I will try to respond there but if not i will definitely mention you here thank you mr green i find it very interesting what you are doing and i think it is better to have the area warmer i don't think you need heaters per se because these lights are actually going to uh, be generating a good bit of heat well how do you know that <laughs> as luck i have my infrared camera because in the real world I'm an infrared thermographer, and I do it. Um, I, I can, you know, evaluate heat loss and moisture damage and all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also use it to check uh, friction on uh, motors and equipment and bearings. Movement makes heat. I can see heat. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check the ambient temperature of the... Uh, ground concrete that is here in the basement and then we're going to check the temperatures of each nutrient tank remember one tank is heated one is not and then i have a grow mat uh, that i'm growing some stuff in dirt um i think one of the problems i'm having is that some of the seeds i'm using are six years old which would reflect a loss of um germination but then you just plant more seeds and then you let a couple of them go to uh, go to seed, the plants go to seed and then you harvest again. So that's probably what we're gonna do. This is probably going to be a, a uh, seed head year. Uh, some of the stuff I've got uh, in, in, in these bags and it's easy to do, I'll show you how to do that. But I'm gonna spin us around, we're gonna get started. We're gonna do an ambient temperature. Uh, I can do that right now and uh, I'll get us set up. More to come. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm getting an ambient temperature reading, which is gonna be kind of like a baseline, something to go off of. And you can see in the top right hand corner is uh, 65.7.8 uh, degrees. I'm using a FLIR E6. This has an effective range of 18 inches. Anything beyond 18 inches, I can still see a temperature gradient, but my precision goes down. So I can see this difference. So there might be a tenth of a degree difference because I'm uh, probably uh, 30 inches uh, from the floor. 18 inches is about the depth of an industrial uh, control panel or a um, a power box, drive box, something like that, uh, a big uh, drive panel. So that's what this is made for. Now, we can get temperatures of the water now. It's going to take me a second to get us set up, but I'll just keep us rolling, and you'll have to uh, forgive me for the uh, bouncing of the camera from this little tripod. There is a nutrient tank that is filled nutrient and we are at 76 degrees this is the tank that is not heated and we are at 66 9 67 degrees both of them are aerated and just for the heck of it, I will show you the weed mat. You can see. 
that is what a weed mat looks like on infrared. Uh, you can see all of the uh, uh, the wires, and all it is is just a, uh, a wire, conductive wire with a little bit of resistance. It generates heat, and you can see those plants right there are doing really good. Those seeds were bought this year. So, more to come. All right, now we're back. And I'll show you, uh, I showed you on the pink lights earlier, but see, this is the problem I'm having, and I think the algae is what is killing these, uh, uh, these seeds or inhibiting germination. So one of the things I had decided to do was go back with rock wool as a seed medium. Now, the problem was, I guess because of COVID, I still could not find rock wool. Uh, I know I could order Ready Rooter plugs from Amazon, and they could be here in three days. But I want to do something as localized as I can, and I want to be able to put it in my hand when I need it. So we have come to cotton is what we are looking to do. Oh, and hang on, I, I've got my crew. I've got my crew here. Yes? Uh, no. Uh, oh, are you wearing clothes? No. What are you doing? It's time to get ready. Okay, well, uh, all right. Um, okay, I'll be up there in just a minute. Okay. So, this is what I have uh, come to try. These are seeds that we purchased this year. These are more Italian basil seeds. And all this is is just in a cotton ball medium. This is natural. And it is just cotton. Now, one thing that my naked wife had mentioned was that the cotton may be too moist. Maybe. Um, which if that is the case, we will try uh, cellulose sponges, then worst comes to worst, I will break down and I will buy the dang ready rivers. I know they're not expensive either. It's just, I don't want to have to rely on a supply chain that is already pooped down. So more to come. So there you have it. It's time for us to get ready to go to church. I just wanted to do this video real quick it'll probably be up uh in a couple of hours and we will uh go from there hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions about the infrared infrared thermography anything like that uh something uh i got licensed to do that probably 10 years ago and i do it uh i used to do it quite frequently uh now i don't i, I might do it maybe four or five times a year thinking about going into business doing it um because there has been some slowdowns in the economy We's got to go. Take care of you people.